What are you at boys? My name is Troy and welcome to Facility D20. So while I was waiting for my Indominus box set to ship to me, I was super excited so I decided I want to go out and try to do a little project. So I went ahead and I made a Necron Wraith. This bad boy here cost me a whopping total of 75 cents. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. And a little hint, a 3D printer was involved. Let's see this bad boy come together. So when I started this project, I had nothing real particular in mind, so I just hopped on Thingiverse and typed in Necrons. One of the first things that popped up was this Wraith. You can see there's some pretty cool stuff here too. We got some cool terrain pieces, some ships, um, some weaponry, but I decided to stick with the Wraith. There's a few parts with this Wraith we can take a look at here. It's got a spine, a ball joint, the second part of the spine, its head, its neck. It's talons, it has uh, its body sections, and the base. The base actually has a slot in it to put a washer to weight it down, which is pretty cool. So I just went ahead and downloaded all these thing files and uploaded them into Kira. Uh, I just had to make sure I oriented them so that these flat sections of the spine laid flat on uh, the bed so that uh, we wouldn't have to print with any supports. I then had to go ahead and duplicate the claws multiple times and also had to scale them down so I just basically knocked um, the middle set down 10% and then uh, the last set down 10% again so and then I went ahead and duplicated all these until I had enough claws I decided just to go with um, 0.1 millimeter quality to fine quality over the 0.06 millimeter quality because I figured this was just a test piece and I didn't want it to take extra four or five hours to print so I made sure I didn't generate supports and I sliced it up and threw it on my 3D printer. Uh, as you can see here, I forgot to duplicate enough talons, so I had to run the talons off on a second print. But I printed a few of these off over the last week. I think I printed like three or four off. Yeah, you can see here I've got uh, enough pieces here to assemble three for the most part. I used crazy glue to assemble these talons, making sure that I got it on all the connection points. And they went together pretty good, pretty decently. Um, just had to make sure I pressed firmly until it was dry. I assembled all the talons first. You want to make sure that you get the crazy glue too on all those little spots so that when you do press them together, they don't separate. So these things took about 15 or 20 seconds to dry. Then I picked up the body section and here's a little tip. If you guys are having problems with uh, stringing and stranding on your 3D prints, if you hit it with a lighter really quickly, it'll melt up all those little strings of hair like plastic. But if you do this, you want to be real careful because you don't want to leave that lighter in any part too long. If you do, you'll really melt it. So once I clean up these uh, body sections to my liking, I went ahead and started to uh, assemble the spine section. Again, this particular part of the model had a lot of stranding, was probably the worst part. So once I uh, lined up all the spine sections, I went ahead and did that same little trick again. And it worked really good on this part of the model actually, and it really cleaned it up a lot. So I was happy with how that came out. So just want to be real careful here. This is uh, especially the thin parts. You don't want to melt them. Once that was done, I went ahead and started to assemble the body. So I just used three body sections here and I used a bit of crazy glue. I started using crazy glue gel, but I was right down to the end of the tube and I was having trouble with it. So I switched over to regular crazy glue, which uh, helped bond a little quicker. And sometimes I find crazy glue gel with uh, PLA for some reason, it doesn't always stick the best. I'm not sure why, but I've had more success with regular crazy glue on 3D printed models, so I'd, I'd recommend you stick to that. Once that was done, I just cleaned off a bit of the excess burr on the bottom part of the spine, and I sized it up to mount on the base. I then went ahead and used um, some cork board to make it like he was busting up out of um, some pavement. So I just pretty much placed it and glued it and left a little space in the middle so I could fit the model back down into it. So this was a little tricky and it took a little bit of time, but once that was done, I was pretty liberal with the glue on the spine 
and uh, the base to make sure he's stuck really well. I think I went back in after two and added a little bit more crazy glue. This took a little bit uh, of time to dry and I wanted to make sure it was firm before I tried to assemble the rest of the model because its upper half of the model was fairly heavy. So this is the same sort of base that I did on my neck grounds painting tutorial. But then I went ahead and put the, the neck section, for lack of a better word, and the head section together and stuck it on the top part of the model and started to um, glue in the talons. So I pretty much took my time here and held it in place. This took a while to make sure everything was uh, firm. But once this uh, talons went on, this model really started to come together. Then I went ahead and just test fitted it on the spine. I added some glue on one of the talons because it was going to touch the cork board. And then I noticed, of course, it wasn't quite, quite dry. So I went back in, added some more um, liquid crazy glue this time, and it uh, firmed the connection point right up. Then I added lots of glue around the, the spine and the body connection point and the bottom one of the talons, which was going to be touching a piece of the base just to give an extra point of uh, connection, a little bit extra hold. And then it was basically done. You can see here, I'm really happy with how the body turned out and how the curvature of the spine turned out. The talons aren't the best. I could have went probably with the ultra fine scale. I probably would have had a little better finish here but overall for a 75 cent model I'm pretty happy with it.